so let us do one more problem on friction which involves two bodies on an inclined plane clear so please write down A cord connects the two bodies of weights 300 and 800 Newton. So, what is a cord, anyone? What is a cord? It is a wire, okay. Or you can say it is a string. Okay, a cord connects two bodies of weight. 300 Newton and 800 Newton. Okay, so the two bodies are placed on an inclined plane and the cord is parallel to the what? Parallel to the inclined plane. The co mu, mu means coefficient of friction, mu for the weight ok, we will do one thing instead of uh, 300 you please take 400, please correct it, eh? the mu per weight 400 Newton is 0 0.15 And for weight, 800 Newton is 0 0.4. Okay. So, what you have to determine? Determine the inclination of the plane. Determine the inclination of the plane means which plane? Yesterday I was saying you. Satri. Is it audible to you? Yes sir. Yes sir. So which plane I am talking about? Inclination of the plane to the horizontal means? Answer. Inclined plane. Okay. And the tension in the cord. When the motion is about to take place. When the motion is about to take place means? The body is just starting to move and the direction of motion is also given to you down the inclined plane, down the inclined plane. One more line is given, this can be a long question for 16 marks. The body weighing 400 Newton is below the body weighing 800 Newton. 
So this is the question. So based on the question, we have to draw the diagram. Have you written all of you the question? Completed? Yes. Okay. So before drawing the diagram, let us see what is the given data. What is the weight of the first body? 400 Newton. 400 Newton. Take it as W1. What is the, because one, one represents first body. What is the weight of the second body? 800 Newton. Good, 800 Newton. Okay, then the two bodies are placed on an inclined plane and these two bodies are connected by a cord. Clear? And the cord is parallel to the inclined plane given in the question. Parallel to the inclined plane. Now, what is the coefficient of friction for weight 400 Newton that is the first weight? 0.15 and for the second weight that is 800 Newton 0 0.4 0 0.4 so determine the inclination of the plane so what you have to find out you have to find out the angle made by the inclined plane with the horizontal so what you want to take alpha or theta you can take anything we will take alpha, alpha. Okay, so what is alpha? Inclination of the plane. Plane means inclined plane to the horizontal. And one more thing is you have to find the tension in the cord also. So it is a single cord or not? That single cord is actually connecting the two bodies. 400 and 800 Newton. So the tension will be, the tension for the cord will be only one or not because it is a single cord. Got it? Yes. Sir. So we will take T as the tension in the cord. Sir, I want to take S. You take anything, but you can take T. T is what? Tension in the cord. So these are the two things which you have to find out. One is alpha and one is the T. Got it? So let us draw the diagram now. So this is the inclined plane. Okay. So the two bodies are there on the inclined plane. Okay, one more thing is the last line of the question. It is given that the body of weight 400 Newton is below the body of weight 800 Newton. So now you say me which is 400 Newton and which is 800 Newton. The body of 400 Newton is below the body of weight 800 Newton. So which weight is 400 Newton? What is the weight of this body? 400. 400. And what is the weight of this body? 800. 800. See, as given in the question, the body of weight 400 Newton is below the body of weight 800 Newton. And it is connected by what? Cord. Cord. And this cord is parallel to the inclined plane. This is also given in the question. Okay. Clear? Is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Now, what is the weight of the body? Vertically downward. So, this is 400 Newton. And the weight of this body, this is also in the vertical downward direction. This is how much? 800 Newton. Okay. Now, imagine... Imagine, please listen carefully. Imagine that I am breaking this thread into two pieces, this cord into two pieces. Okay. Now, for this particular body, 
in the card in the card there will be a which port tensile ports or not so it is in which direction yes, it is outward, outward or not so it is a pull force or not so this is t clear now for this body what is the force in the cord push push tensile clear now is it clear are imagine these two bodies are, this cord i have cut into two pieces now is it clear so don't confuse that sir for this body now for this body this cord is having a tensile force and for this body this cord will have a tensile force tensile force means pull force any doubts here no sir next now the body is moving down the inclined plane or not that is also given in the question you see okay when the motion is about to take place down the inclined plane so what is the direction of motion down this is the plane. direction of motion or not down the plane clear so frictional force will be in the opposite direction or not yes okay now again for this particular body again i'm saying because there are two bodies two free body diagrams will be there so for this particular body it will be f1 is equal equal to mu1 r1 and for this body it will be f2 is equal to mu2 r2 any doubts clear okay so let us draw how many free body diagrams will be there two 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 because two bodies are there so free body diagram of body whose weight is how much 400, 400. Meter. let us do the free body diagram first what is this angle alpha alpha i am drawing the free body diagram where let us put all the forces so the weight always acts in the vertically downward direction so this weight is 400 newton and this is your which reaction normal reaction so what is the name i will give because it is a first body so it is r1 r1, r1. very good so see the main diagram also so this is your which force this is i have drawn the horizontal and vertical line now here you have tensile force or not so this is your t and in this direction also you have the frictional force that is f1 is equal to mu1 r1 mu1 already known to you 0.15 okay now if this is alpha what is this angle alpha alpha, alpha. then what is this component this is an outward force so this will be 400 cos alpha cos alpha and this will be 400 sin alpha are there any other forces are there any other forces here no 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 now let us go for the second free body diagram okay so this angle is alpha and this is the body of weight how much 800 acting vertically downward direction this is your normal reaction so what is the normal reaction name r2 
R2. Okay, so let us see the main diagram. The tensile force is in this direction or not? And F2 is in this direction. Clear? So, what is this? This is your T and this is your F2 is equal to mu2 R2. Okay. If this is alpha, what is this angle? Alpha. 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 What is this? 800 cos alpha. What is this? 800 sin alpha. All of you please answer. Okay. Not one or two. Then you will get confidence. Okay. In every problem we are doing the same thing. Any other forces? Any other forces are there? No. no. So let us do one thing. We will solve this first. So, first what you will do? Resolve. Resolve the forces. Horizontally. So, in horizontally, how many forces are there? In horizontally, how many forces are there? Three. Three forces. So, how can I write? Can I write 400 sin alpha is equal to T plus mu1 R1? Can I write it? Yes. So, two, T plus, what is mu1? Mu1 is how much? 0 0.15. 0 0.15. Okay. Now, okay. next okay. is resolve the forces vertically. So, vertically how many forces are there? How many forces are there vertically? Two. Two. So, what will be the equation? R1 is R1 equal to 400 cos alpha. So, what will you do with this value of R1? Substitute. Substitute in, in equation 1. So, when you substitute in equation 1, clear? So, this R1 you substitute here. So, what is the equation you will get? 400 sin alpha is equal to T plus 0 0.15 400 cos alpha. Now what is 0 0.15 into 400? Sixty. Sixty. So 400 sin alpha minus 60 cos alpha. Any doubt? Clear? Is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have noted it down? Yes, sir. Now, let us see for the second free body diagram. Okay. So I forgot to write over here. This is the free body diagram of body whose weight is 800 Newton. Okay. Now, resolve the forces horizontally okay so in horizontally how many how many forces are there three three so can you say me the equation t plus 800 sin alpha equals to mu2 r2 t plus 800 sin alpha is equal to mu2 r2 okay so, T is equal to 
So what is mu two? Zero point four. Zero point four R two minus eight hundred sine alpha. Okay. So next, next what to do? Resolve the forces. Vertically. So let us see in vertically what are the forces? How many forces? Two, two forces. forces. So what will be the equation? R two equals to eight hundred cos. R two is eight hundred cos. So R two is equal to eight hundred cos alpha. I have written. Now so this is let us take as equation two. Substitute the value of R two. In equation two, so what will you get? So T is equal to zero point four eight hundred sorry. What it is? Zero point four eight hundred cos alpha minus eight hundred. Sin alpha. Zero point four into eight hundred is how much? Three twenty. So three twenty. Three hundred twenty. Cos alpha minus eight hundred sin alpha. So this is one more equation. Okay. So take this equation as equation three, and this equation as. Equation four completed. Yes. Yes, sir. Completed. Now the tension. It is a single chord or not? So this tension and this tension is same or not? Yes. So. Equate these two equations. Write down. Equate equation three and equation four. So, what is equation three? Anyone can say. Four hundred sine alpha minus sixty cos alpha. Hmm. Is equal to. Three twenty cos alpha minus eight hundred sine alpha. Please solve this and get me what is alpha. Okay, four hundred sine alpha. This goes to the other side, so it will be twelve hundred sine alpha is equal to three hundred and eighty cos alpha. Is it correct? Is it correct or not? Yes. So sine alpha by cos alpha is equal to 380 by 1200. So alpha is equal to this is tan inverse 380 by 1200. How much is the answer? Seventeen point five eight. Seventeen point five seven degree. Okay, seventeen point five seven degree. Seventeen point seventeen four seventeen degree thirty four minute. Yes, that one also you can take. Or I'm writing that also. Seventeen degree. Thirty-four minutes. Thirty-four minutes. This also can be. This is also the answer. Clear. So you got alpha. One part of the answer is you got it. Okay. So alpha is clear. Next, what you have to find? Yes. 
कंप्लीटेड ना नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड टी टी यू कैन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा इन आइडर इक्वेशन थ्री और इक्वेशन फोर आई एम पुटिंग इन इक्वेशन फोर सो टी इज इक्वल टू थ्री ट्वेंटी कॉस सेवेंटीन पॉइंट फाइव सेवेन डिग्री माइनस एट हंड्रेड साइन सेवेंटीन पॉइंट फाइव सेवेन डिग्री गेट मी द डायरेक्ट आंसर ऑफ टी I, you can put this also, 17 degree 34 minutes. You can put anything. The answer will be same. Sixty three point six two. So how much you got? Sixty three point six two five. Sixty-three point six two five. Any other? Are you getting the same answer? Sixty-three point five seven. Did you get? Is it correct? Clear. I think you can see the calculator, all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, how much you got answer? Sixty-three point five seven. What is the unit? Newton. Newton. Is it clear, all of you? Yes, sir. So in this way, you have to solve where the two bodies are placed on an inclined plane. Okay. You have completed writing. Yes, sir. next now this is the problem which you have to do it by yourself if you cannot do we'll do it in the next class the try at least okay and this is very very important problem Here the figure is given to you. What should be the value of the angle theta in the figure so that the motion of the ninety newton block impends? What is impends? Impends down the plane. Impends down the plane means the block is going down the plane. Okay, impending. Impending means going down the plane. The coefficient of friction for all the surfaces, wherever there is a contact surface, it is same. He is saying the coefficient of friction for all the surfaces is one by three. This is the question. What is the coefficient of friction for all surfaces? One by three. One by three. Yes. Yeah. 
to draw the diagram. You have written the question, all of you? Yes, sir. Please draw the diagram. He is saying to find out what is this angle theta. See, if you can do this problem, you can do any kind of problem of intent. Here. So by seeing the diagram, what did you understand by this? Anyone? There are two bodies here. One is 90 Newton, the other is 30 Newton. Above, above the 90 Newton, 30 Newton is placed. And this particular 30 Newton, okay, it is actually tied with the help of a string to the vertical wall. Okay, and in the question it is given that this 90 Newton block, 90 Newton block, see motion of the 90 Newton is down the plane. So 90 Newton block is moving in which direction? Down the plane. Down the plane. Clear? So this theta you have to find. Can you can you do the problem? Yes or no? Now one question. How many free body diagrams will be there? How many free body diagrams? Are how many free body diagrams will be there? Ah, there are how many bodies here? Two bodies, so two free body diagrams. One is for 90 Newton, the other is for 30 Newton. But when you consider the free body diagram of 30 Newton, for the string, there will be a force. Which force will be there? Tensile force. Tensile force. You take it as T. I am giving you the hint. Clear? Now, this 90 Newton is going in which direction? When you consider the free body diagram of 90 Newton, please, 90 Newton only. Clear? You know the weight is acting vertically downward direction. Uh, you can take uh, normal reaction as uh, uh, what? R1 and R2, it is up to you. Whatever. Clear? Try to do this problem. You see, 90 Newton has... Um, as 90 Newton has how many how many contact surfaces? Who will say? Two. Very good. Two contact surfaces. So one Two. contact one contact surface will be due to this contact or not? Yes, sir. In which direction? In which direction it will be? Are here this body is there. Forget about this body. Only I am drawing and say I am trying to make you understand the concept of free body diagram of 90 Newton. Now here this body, the reaction will be upward or not? Yes, sir. Now, due to due to this body, there will be one more reaction. Yes, sir. In which direction? Downward. Downward. Very good. So two reactions will be there in 90 Newton. One weight will be there, and one coefficient of friction will be there. In the question it is written 90 Newton is going in downward direction. So coefficient of friction will be up the plane. Got it? Yes. Now one question. Now when you consider the free body diagram of 30 Newton, you will have one reaction. In which direction? Very simple, this body cannot go this upward. side, so reaction upward. is upward. Okay. So this reaction, next. What about coefficient of friction? Who will say? For this body, for this body, the coefficient of friction 
frictional force will be in this direction. Frictional force will be in this direction. For this body, frictional force direction, who will say? For this body. I see my both the hands. This is 90 Newton and this is your 30 Newton. Clear? See this. This is your 90 Newton. This is your 30 Newton. This 90 Newton is going in downward direction. So frictional force for 90 Newton is upward. But for this, what will be the frictional force? I'm asking. Very simple question. Okay, this 30 Newton, yes, this 30 Newton, it is registered. The, there will be no motion for 30 Newton because of 90 Newton. 90 Newton is registering 30 Newton or not? Okay, yes. so the frictional force for 30 Newton will be in this direction. Any doubt? Frictional force for 90 Newton is in this direction. Frictional force for 30 Newton is this direction. Equal and opposite forces, then only the body will be in equilibrium as per Newton's third law. Now, is it clear? Okay. So, try to do this problem. <laughs> 